Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help from beautiful Waikiki Beach here in Honolulu, Hawaii. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Wacom Cintiq 12WX graphics tablet. Now, <clears throat> If you're familiar with graphics or um, you've done any work in the past with uh, using tablets, as you know, the tablet has a surface, has some programmable keys, come in various configurations, and it has a digitizer pen um, that allows you to do freehand graphics on the screen. Now, what makes this one um, different and a lot more expensive? Um, you can buy graphics tablets for anywhere from 60 or $100 or up to $400 um, for the nicer ones. And um, now in the Wacom, what makes this one different is that instead of using, normally on a graphics tablet, <coughs> you would use a screen in the background. So as you draw on the tablet, you would see your motions in your program up here so you draw down here but you're looking up here and that's cool and everything but uh, when you're drawing on a pad you're looking directly at what you're drawing which is you know typically nice to have <coughs> so what makes this one different is that it has a built-in LCD as you'll see here in a moment okay so there we have it um, all of your graphic work now takes place right in front of you on the screen and this unit is very lightweight it has a six and a half foot cable now this cable plugs into an, a, a video box okay which then splits off one uh, cable plugs into your computer your, your laptop or whatever in this case I have it hooked up to my laptop it comes with a DVI and a VGA or a DVI to VGA cable and then a secondary port cable that uh, runs into your USB to control the touchscreen functionality. Now you can see this unit is very thin, very lightweight. I, I think actually it's about four and a half pounds or so. So it is, you know, it's got some weight to it, which is good. You know, it has a very good sturdy feel to it, but it's light, oh, uh, lightweight enough <clears throat> to be used within a six and a half foot range with the extended cable. This can also be mounted to a swing arm mount, such as I have back here. So I could actually mount this on there, or I could mount another one on the side of my desk and have the tablet come out like this. And I've seen a couple of videos. Uh, the Centic um, 21UX, I think, is the model. It's a 21 inch, and this guy has um, one on the screen uh, that's on a swing arm mount and I mean he can move it everywhere and tilt it and, and rotate it and stuff like that so it's very nice and this kind of follows along this, the same lines of that but it's a little more portable now this is a 12.1 inch screen so <clears throat> if you were to compare it with a um, notebook computer or whatever laptop it's gonna have a relatively small screen but for drawing um, this is actually is pretty good amount of space um, so let me go ahead and jump in and uh, now as you can see back here this does have a kickstand and some people have complained that this doesn't have enough pressure on it and uh, so far I mean granted if I put it up on the screen and I start applying a lot of pressure to it it is going to tilt back a little bit but typically for me I pull this down into my lap and use it right in my lap so I have all my control and everything right there so Let's go ahead and jump into some software here and I'll show you a couple of examples of uh, some stuff that I've been working on. Now the, all of the keys, there's five keys on either side here and there's two track scroll um, pads here that you use with your thumb, just touch it. And these keys can be programmed, now I'm using mine on Mac OS with my MacBook and um, if you go into, once you install the software you basically come into system preferences, you come down to the Wacom tablet and it takes you into your settings for this so let me zoom in here so you guys can get a little closer look at what's going on now you can program this for various different uh, uh, programs um, it comes with Photoshop elements it comes with um, Corel um, programs I'll show you all the software here in just a moment but um, so basically you have the functionality where you can program the push keys on the side 
and uh, you can do shortcuts like keyboard shortcuts like if you want to do um, the um, commands S for save or whatever you can program that as a key to be activated when you push these. Now on my Mac OS X uh, as far as my desktop area I actually have the keys programmed right now to start my various software. Um, oh, another thing I meant to show you here real quick. I'm going to try to get through this as quick as I can. This is just a basic review today. So um, so you can come in and program the keys for your tablet. You can come in and actually program the functionality of the pen. Now this pen has uh, two buttons on it. And I also purchased a separate airbrush stylus pen for this. So, and then on the back of the pen it has the eraser function, which is just a little um, plastic tab there. But you can program these keys to do various functions, and you do that right in here through the settings. And um, also you can calibrate the tablet itself. Um, <clears throat> now, and I actually have to calibrate this a couple of times, like maybe every other day or so, depending on how much I use it, because it does get out of sync. So uh, for Photoshop Elements, I've got all my keyboard shortcuts programmed. I've got my save, so I can just quick save just by tabbing and hitting here. And as you know, save often, because you lose work otherwise by accident. And um, so then uh, the outside key right here, I have to fit my image. So if I'm zoomed way in and I want to see the overall picture, I hit one button and it zooms out. Okay. And then I have uh, undo, redo, and then I have this function as a grab and then on the other side, let me zoom back out of here on the other side of my tablet I have exit program okay so I have my quick save so I can hit quick save and then if I'm done I just hit exit um, I have copy paste cut um, in here and I forget what, uh, let's see what I have that one programmed for of select all so if I want to select everything and move an image around then I just click that one button there so um, you can program this for various different softwares you can actually program it for your desktop applications so um, if we're on desktop right now if I want to open up Photoshop Elements um, which came with the uh, tablet I simply click one button give it a second to load up here so the point of this is to try to use the mouse as little as possible, try to use the keyboard as little as possible, um, although you will need a keyboard for typing in names, um, if you want to name layers and stuff like that. Um, so let's see, let's start from scratch with a new document. And uh, let's see. Go 800 by 600. Now the screen resolution is 1280 by 800, which is actually really good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up a new document here. Now I'll zoom in here. I'll try to get the entire tablet into the shot here so you can see me using the keys as well. So now the beauty of having a tablet, especially when it has the LCD built in like this, is you can just come in freehand. And do pretty much whatever you want okay so <clears throat> now the nice function on this as well is the back side of this is an eraser so you can come in erase do your little thing there or um, since I have my function keys set up I have undo and redo so I can undo I can redo undo I can undo again I can undo again and take those sections out or put them back in you know as I see fit and these you'll have to program these yourself now um, now let's say this slider key over here will zoom in for you so you can get in real close into your outlines and before you ink images and stuff like that and I have this one programmed to zoom back out to 100% or to fit the screen actually it's not 100% it's uh, uh, it's actually running depends on the resolution of the image you're using so um, now I want to zoom back in. Now the two functions on the pen here that you can use is that you can program these to do various different things. I have mine programmed to grab, so if I click this, I can grab the screen and move it around and get you know to wherever I want to be. Um, I have the right click set up for my brush size because I change brush sizes very often. That's probably what I change more than anything other than my side tools over here. Okay. And I also have this button because if you're using the eraser, let's say you want to come in and erase something, but now you want to move over.